Tell Deborah that the pay gap is real. I was joking. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary cowboys. Welcome back to Are You Flixed? This week's topic is one that I hold quite close to my cold and dead heart, and it has been a very hot topic of discussion, which of course has led to the conspiracy theory we all know and love. This week's theory is climate change denial. Climate change denial is the school of thought which considers climate change to be fake. And this is no joking matter. We're currently facing a climate disaster. And if we do not drastically cut back on our intake of harmful toxins the environment can't process, we are looking at a natural disaster. All of the tornadoes and floods, all of the awful things you see day to day, or not even that, week to week, they're going to become so much more commonplace. Millions of climate refugees are going to have to move, and of course, the destruction of the global ecosystem as a whole. This is a serious topic, and the twat waffles who peddle the belief that it is bullshit are either in denial or just mentally deficient. I imagine you're asking yourself, why the bloody hell do these people believe this? Well, we can talk about it right now. No funning about. We're going to talk about it because it's rather ridiculous, and the University of Hull, our featured article, gives us a plethora of reasons of why they believe what they believe. The first reason comes down to the theory that it is part of the Earth's natural cycle, which is a lie. The Earth goes through warm and cold periods as it tilts on its axis, away from the Sun and then towards the Sun, these are known as glacial and interglacial periods respectively, glacial being colder periods and interglacial being warmer. Our last glacial period occurred between 120,000 and 11,500 years ago, which of course, precise measurements as always, just a hop and a skip and a 100,000 year difference, no biggie. Returning to the topic, however, we are in an interglacial period now, but things are warming up faster than we have ever seen before, so you can't exactly just run with the story that the Earth's popped its heating on, so don't worry. The next reason given that it isn't that bad and life finds a way. Holy shit, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard and I've listened to Machine Gun Kelly's music. To say life finds a way, you have to be the most arrogant, self-centered human being on this planet, and you're about to lose your planet permissions. It's like looking at the recent pandemic and thinking, yeah, things are bad, but we're gonna have a multitude of parties. Oh wait, our government did that. Fuck you, you slimy cunts. The third reason is the amount of rain. According to these people, because it's raining more than usual, everything's fine as if the mere existence of rain indicates that we're all fine. Don't worry, we can explain this one using the GCSE combined science book I have at my home, and we shall pop that on screen right now, because that's how easy it is. As you can see here, in the GCSE book, the water cycle has been thoroughly explained, so please please go read this passage. In fact, no, I'm going to leave this on screen through this whole section, just for you to read through and think about your life choices. To summarise for those who won't pause the video to read, or won't sit here and read it because my opinion's right, due to the climate being hotter, more water is being evaporated and sent into the atmosphere. What goes up must come down, therefore more rain. Jesus, it's that simple. The fourth reason people believe in this is the models used to measure the climate change are unreliable. It's downright incorrect. For starters, we have scientists in the Arctic who are digging up old ice. We have hundreds of scientists across the world using different methods returning the same results. That if we don't change our ways, we're fucked. By the way, these ice diggers examine very old ice, deep underground. And we examine that ice with science wizardry that we don't have time to explain in this episode, by the way. But don't worry, I will in the comments, if you like. And then the ice that they dig up can tell us that the planet is definitely heating up and climate change is fucking real! This is what these people seem to be in denial about, that their actions are consequenceless. And that, realistically speaking, in the real world, they need to get their heads out of their asses and sort their shit. That may seem harsh, but we've been sleepwalking into a crisis for years now, and the moment we decide to get up our asses and do something about it, people stand up and say, it's wrong! No, climate change isn't real, it's real. And it's fucked up that you believe that it isn't. To conclude tonight's rather brutal and crushing piece, I have a video recommendation for you. It's on the screen now and it'll be in the description. 
This video talks about the topic in a much greater detail in comparison to this show and is well worth the watch. It proves to us that it's not all hopeless and we can alter the course we're on. It's changeable. We can do this. We've done things before we've been to the moon. We can fly now. Soon we're going to have chips in our brains that play music. Why can't we change the course we're on? As per usual, if you do know someone who's in denial about climate change, here are three things you can do about it. Number one, show them this video. It brings me joy. Number two, explain to them where they're getting their data from. And number three, show them the data and allow them to realize in their own time that they're wrong. But that time has to be quick because we're fucked if we don't start making big changes. Next week on the show, we shall discuss whether OJ Simpson really did commit those crimes. Good night.